The phone hacking scandal gets murkier yet. Evidence given by James Murdoch to MPs has been called into question. Comments he made about his knowledge of phone hacking following an out-of-court settlement with Professional Footballers Association Chief Executive Gordon Taylor has been described as mistaken. When you signed off the, uh, ta the Taylor payment, did you see or were you made aware of the full Neville email, the transcript of the hacked voicemail message? No, no I, I was not aware of that at the time. But that view's been challenged by former News of the World editor Colin Myler and ex-News International legal manager Tom Crone. In a statement, the pair said we would like to point out that James Murdoch's recollection of what he was told when agreeing to settle the Gordon Taylor litigation was mistaken. In fact, we did inform him of the Fort Neville email which had been produced to us by Gordon Taylor's lawyers. James Murdoch wasting no time in replying, saying, I stand by my statement to the select committee. But Tom Watson is not convinced. I think this is the most significant moment in two years of the hacking scandal. If Myler and Crone are accurate in their statement, then it shows that James Murdoch was aware of phone hacking in 2008. Not only did he fail to act, he failed to report the matter to the police. The matter has now been referred to the police.